And welcome back. When it comes to statistics, Chris Crocker is the person we go to. Amazing numbers she was telling me about in the break about today's all-time high temperature, which coincides with Spokane's all-time high temperature. Uh, yes, it does. This is sort of a historic day in our weather yeah. history. The subject of tonight's forecast focus, and I'm going to start with the almanac for Spokane for today, specifically looking at today's high temperature of 108, which is not only the record for today, it is the all-time record for Spokane set back in 1961. Officially, it has never been hotter than 108 degrees, and this number is significant. In July, we also have a 108 degree reading on the books, but that was before they moved our official temperature gauge from downtown, where it is hotter, out to the airport. So this is an airport temperature of 108 degrees. Now, that is the hottest it has ever been in Spokane. We'll look at some other heat extremes to put that into perspective. The all-time highest temperature in the state of Washington is at, ironically, Ice Harbor Dam, where it was 118 degrees. The all-time record for Idaho is also 118, set in Orofino. Hottest ever in Montana, just one degree below at uh, Medicine Lake at 108 or 17 rather. North America and the United States for that matter, the highest temperature ever recorded, Death Valley at 134 degrees. And for Earth, uh, the hottest temperature ever recorded in Libya at 136. Now, I know there are a lot of military people that have spent some time in the Middle East that can uh, say they've found, seen temperatures much higher than 136, but these are official readings taken with highly calibrated uh, thermometers and perhaps where you were in the Persian Gulf in the Middle East, you did not have uh, an official recording site. But I will take your word for it that you've seen even hotter weather. 91 right now in Spokane feels cool in comparison. 91 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, also in the 90s in Deer Park and Omac. It's 100 in Lewiston. will be a little bit cooler tomorrow, a little bit cooler on Thursday before things really cool off heading down into the weekend. A couple of things going on upper level trough sagging down out of British Columbia. We also have an area of low pressure off the northern California coast and that is bringing up some moisture, bringing a chance of thunderstorms for tomorrow mainly over the mountains. Our odds of thunderstorms increase each day uh, through the beginning of the weekend and as our temperature drops. Quick look at our national satellite and radar. One uh, obvious sign of severe weather popping up in the Ohio River Valley where we have a number of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect and then on a hit and miss basis throughout the inner mountain west we continue to find some thunderstorm activity including right on the wyoming south dakota border severe thunderstorm in progress here's a look at your seven day outlook major changes in our weather pattern as the ridge of high pressure that's kept things relatively hot and dry breaks down cooler and unsettled conditions are on the way especially as we get into friday and saturday temperatures in the 70s and then we uh, stay below average through the rest of the seven day outlook was that a yeah, yeah. you like the looks of that yeah <laughs> i bet a lot of people do i bet you're right